What does it feel like to be back together? Just Normal. Cool. Oh, Glad to be alive. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby, Sue Ellen, Lucy, and more. The Ewing family reuniting, celebrating the 45th anniversary of the show and giving E.T. exclusive secrets about Dallas's biggest cliffhangers. It was 350 million people around the world who watched Who Shot JR. That's an unbelievable number. We've got a list of the people who didn't watch and we're going to call them. You're going to call them and ask them, what the hell were you doing? The late Larry Hagman's near on-screen demise became TV's highest rated non-finale episode ever. So who shot JR? It turned out to be Kristen, Mary Crosby, but producers filmed a few stars pulling the trigger just in case. I shot JR. I think Linda yeah, shot JR. I did. You know, With Jim Davis pistol. shot him. They hadn't decided who it was no. going to be, and yeah. that was the they idea. They hadn't known yet. They didn't know until the end, until the hiatus. Yeah. Really? They were taking bets on it in Vegas and in yeah. Europe, and in a, it was it was people who called me and said, "You got to tell me, because I got to yeah. put a lot of money on this." I didn't know. Is it true someone offered Larry two hundred fifty thousand dollars? They did offer that to him, and. Uh, Obviously, he did not take it, mm -hmm. which is very unlike Mr. Hackman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say, I was shocked. I know, I was like, what? I remember saying you didn't take it. <laughs> no, but he wouldn't, he wouldn't tell. Yeah. Even the queen, uh, the queen mum, she asked him, yeah. and um, he said, not even for you, mum. Mm -hmm. oh. wow. How hard was it to keep that secret? Oh, that we was the to. toughest <laughs> summer. I recorded it. Yeah. In a recording little box like this. And my words were... It was you, Kristen, who shot JR. Now, that was recorded, <laughs> and we had to hold it. So, so you knew. I did You know. knew. Yeah. You so if anyone has a secret, I didn't tell you anybody. tell Linda she's the greatest secret keeper <laughs> in the world. world. Did you tell anybody? Zero. Not even her children. That wasn't the only shocker. Remember when Bobby came back from the dead? Morning. Can we talk about the dream sequence? How did that come about? It came about because of Larry. Larry said, Patrick is Hagman. Come out to Malibu. Let's get drunk. Take a jacuzzi. I want to talk to you. I turned to my wife and said, he's going to ask me to come back on the show. And my wife said, well, you can only do it if the last season was a dream. Larry asked me back on the show, and it was a hard yes. You know, I, I, I missed the show, I missed my friends, yeah. I missed everything about it. Nobody in the cast knew, nobody in the crew knew. We didn't, I wasn't in the shower on the set on Dallas. I was in the shower on a set in a commercial studio way across town. Action Victoria, Larry. You louse! Hold it, JR! E.T.'s hung with this tight-knit crew on the South Fork Ranch set in Dallas nearly half a dozen times in the 80s and early 90s, where their patriarch was and still is the glue that keeps them together. We're here because of Hagman. Yeah. yeah. That's that's what he meant to the he show. the glue. Yeah. He kept everybody together, everybody happy, that everybody up. engaged. And, and because of his popularity, all of our boats rose with the tide. Mm. You know, and we, we got the ride with him, so yeah, we miss him a lot. I've got a keychain, actually. A keychain, Larry, with a jester's hat on, and it says, don't worry, be happy, have fun. When we first started, Larry saw this as an opportunity with this ensemble, if we would all branch out and take all the press invitations, you could build the show and you could create the popularity. Mm -hmm. And we all, we all did that. We did. We did. We he knew that as a quarterback, it. actually. Yeah quarterback for the whole yeah. yeah remember the first day all of us were in that motel oh we the, were not in a hotel a motel the royal roach the royal roach the royal roach we called it the royal roach they had cockroaches this big we're in larry's room sitting on the floor trying to figure out what the hell we're doing here and <laughs> who are we and what characters are we yeah. playing and in his bathroom there was a bathtub filled with ice and several bottles of champagne. <laughs> so that's how we bonded. <laughs> and that's why he smelled the way he smelled most of the time, because he never took a shower. <laughs> First call in the morning, he'd pop a cork on a bottle of champagne, and, and we'd have a glass of champagne together before we'd go into the makeup room. 
in the morning. morning. In the morning. Every, every morning. In the morning. Oh, every in the morning. Every single morning. You know, and days that he wasn't there were the saddest days of my life. Yes. <laughs> Larry didn't like to talk on Sundays. That was it was oh. a discipline that he he employed because he believed actors should have a rest. A day of rest. Yeah, a day of rest. Rest of rest. And so Sunday comes and the phone rings. Well, he's not going to get it. And if somebody comes to the door, he's not going to go there. We would talk to him in sign language. We go like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, you want to go eat a hamburger and play ball? <laughs> and off we would go. I'll keep myself nice. You had a cocktail or two during your run. I did. What was in those drinks? <laughs> You're going to love this. It was water. And I remember one scene I had at lunch scene. And I said, let's have a martini, a couple of olives, come the end of the scene. And I just slugged it. What it was was room temperature water. It tasted like <laughs> olive juice. It was the worst. I said, no, she gave up martinis. We don't do that anymore. <laughs> Done. I hope you won't be doing any drinking. No, sir, I'd never do that. There were also plenty of guest stars. That's a then unknown Brad Pitt. He was great. I had several scenes with him. He was a, you know, a 25 year old playing an 18 year old or something like that. And it was very early in his career. And I'm sure he's not gonna give me a job at his next movie. <laughs> Watch, he's probably gonna call you now. Brad, I'm still working with you. <laughs> I can't wait to finally become Mrs. Bobby James Ewing. Priscilla Presley, what was it like doing scenes with him? Well, I'm working with an icon. I mean, that's true icon. Any association with Elvis. My first scene was dancing with her, so I went, oh, hold me close, hold me close. Oh, <laughs> no, you no. didn't sing. So I sang <laughs> the first couple of lines, and she giggled and laughed, and I went, oh, thank God. Listen, both Patrick and Larry brought levity on the set of their soapy drama. I heard that you were a little bit of a prankster. You know, it, it, Larry and I loved to play together. It helped Larry and I develop our relationship, but I think it also kept the atmosphere light on the set. Yeah, Jersey my first City. episode was a big prank. Hopped right into bed with JR, and as soon as they started rolling, he put ice down my back. And I tried to keep a straight face as best I could, and they said, well, that's how we break the ice. Linda remembers her TV husband as her champion when she was briefly fired after asking to direct an episode. Okay, uh, Larry and Jack. You know, when they came and said we can't let her direct, he said, why not? You know, let her, let her direct. That's that funny. is so, that's Larry, that's, that was Larry. Uh, that was Larry. Just... What was it like to get that opportunity? Because we know it at that time, women were not getting those kind of opportunities. It was, Wow, it was challenging. You needed somebody like a Larry to, to go to bed. I needed him, I, yeah. you know, and he you know, was great. He was always there for everybody who up. needed him to be there. Yeah. yeah, that's who he was. 11 years we've been together. Um, so I feel if I can do anything to help, I'm just going out of my way to do it. Oh, wow. Yeah. You see, he's here now <laughs> with all this, with all this. Memory and, 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 and incidents. And yeah. He was the pilot light yeah. along with really? <laughs> right here. For 14 seasons. For 14 seasons. That's just crazy. This week, the gang assembled for the Dallas 45th anniversary reunion panel produced by Dan Gore at Oscars Palm Springs. It's been nearly 10 years since the reboot. Would they ever go back to South Fork Ranch again? Would you guys do a movie? Yeah, uh, yeah, you know, it all depends on Who's is it worth doing, you know, mm -hmm. script-wise. Is it is is it true to what we remember and reminisce even right now? If it's just for the PR value of doing it, it would be a hard yes, you know. 